What it do, what it do, what it do, good people coming to you live from Chaz TV 410. I'm your host, Chaz Dean. Before we even get started, I need y'all to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. If you got to sign into your YouTube, sign into your YouTube. Because it's best believe, people, if you run up on me and we talk on this Chaz TV, I'm going to politely ask, can I borrow your phone? And I'm going to subscribe for you. Because what I'm doing and what I'm finding out when I'm on the streets, and, and I love, listen, people, I love the support. You know what I'm saying? I even love the karate that I'm hearing even from the, from, from the basketball and the football guys. That's love. But I need you to, to subscribe. I need you to subscribe. You subscribe, that's like, if you, don't even, if you didn't donate to the show, you're donating by subscribing. Look at it like that. Okay. But now we got that about the way. Listen here, good people. Baltimore, we done had a good month. Yes, indeed. We had a good month. And, 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 and when I say we had a good month, just think about it. Just think about it. First, I'd like to say congratulations to all Metro Player of the Year, all ACC, Mountain Delaney for winning another Euro Championship. <laughs> Still over there playing at a high level. Been playing for a long time. I don't know if this is going to be his last one. However, if the money's still out there, hey, go, go get it. Go get it. However, salute. Kudos to you. See you when you get home. See you when you get home. And people, nah, that's on another video. See you when you get home, Michael. i also like to say congratulations to, 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 to the females. Yes, indeed. What, what I'm talking about, Terrence? Oh, yeah, we had some draft picks. Yeah, we had some draft picks. Jasmine Dickey out of Catonsville that went to the University of Delaware. Now, hold up before, because I ain't just going to poop, poop this one. Jasmine, she ain't just finished her career. She finished her career with 1,981 career points, 1,038 rebounds, and 48 double-doubles. People, when I say a score, she can score that ball. She went second round to Dallas Wings. Yeah, she did. We also had Nia. This is Nia Cloudin. Yeah, Nia Cloudin from Owens Mills, but ended up going to school down at St. Francis. Then went, went on to uh, Michigan State. Now, she wasn't no slouch either. She finished second all-time in career points at Michigan State. I mean, hey, hey good people. And it was at Michigan State. She got drafted to Connecticut Sun. So salute to you, 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 two, uh, you two gals. And good luck. And keep pushing. Keep working. I'd like to give a huge shout out. We're going to give it to, we, we're going up there to Polly now, y'all. Yeah, Justin Lewis. Salute. All Metro player. Marquette University. You know, had a good year this year. You know, man. Salute. Baltimore, proud of you. Keep grinding, because we know you will. And you belong here. And you belong here. Don't pay attention to none of what the he or she say, he say, because it's you. It's you. So don't trip off of, oh, he should have this, he should have did that. Don't pay that, don't pay that noise, don't mind. But you got some right people around you, so you're going to be fine. So salute. Justin went the 58 pick to the Chicago Bulls. Now, people, we're going to talk about this a little in another, matter of fact, we're going we're gonna to debate this another time. But I had got a little note that UConn, Tyrese Martin, right? It was only one player drafted out of the Big East this year. We're going to come back to that. Yeah, we're going to come back to that. However, salute to Cam Whitmore. Yes, indeed. Uh, Maryland Gatorade Player of the Year. Baltimore Catholic League, player of the year, was selected to the McDonald's All-American game, had 19 points. They lost, but he had 19 points. He got picked to play in the, uh, the under-18 USA team, went out there, went to the FIBA tournament, won a, net, uh, won a uh, tournament MVP, and they got gold. I'm saying, look, people, in the mock draft right now, they got him, some, some of them have won, but they got him in that top five. This is my draft, though. That's my draft. 
So good people, you'll see Cam Whitmore from Spalding. You'll see him down at, at the University of Villanova next year. Yeah. Yeah. And I like how he talk. I looked at one of his tweets, right? Because, it, 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 you know, it's chitter chatter everywhere, right? But I looked at one of his tweets, and listen here, I'm not a Twitter. I don't go off of Twitter. Twitter don't mean that much, so don't worry about off uh, on the research end. I don't, yeah, don't worry about that. I don't follow Twitter on the research end. However, so I'm looking at Cam joint on there. He said, I can tell that he hear the noise too when people say, oh, he don't, he don't play hard all the time. Oh, he don't do this, that, and the third. He jot down. I know when it's time, I know when the lights is on and when it, when it turned up. See, some people may say, no, nah, he should be like that all the time. He aware of it. He aware. You know what I'm saying? He aware. He know if, if, if he at this point in his career, he know when to turn it on, he going to be all right. He definitely going to be fine. Because it felt out. Like, it felt like either with his ankle, his, his ankle got sprung last basketball season. He missed some games. So people start questioning his, his, his toughness. However, the better the competition, he performed. He played in the McDonald's All-American game with, uh, with, with future other NBA players. He went out and played in, in FIBA against other future NBA players, and he was successful. He was successful. We also had, we also had the Battle of Baltimore. Team Thrill against Team Mellow. Yes, indeed. That was, gr that was great for the city. It was love. Good job uh, for, for both programs. And yeah, Mellow won a split 2-1. It was a 15, 15 U, 16 U, and 17 U. Yeah, Mellow won 2-1. Now that 15 under game was sick. I wasn't at attendance, I watched on YouTube. I watched the whole game, but that was a good game. I felt as though after three, that was the best game. I felt like I seen a few pros in the 15 on the game. People, if you, if, if you get a chance, go on YouTube and check the game out for yourself. Yeah, just go check it out for yourself. Team Thrill versus Team Mellow. Just type it in, you can be good. Shout out, we, we, we also got to give you some updates on on some movements, what's going on, some transfers, some things of that nature. We're gonna start off over Calvin Hall. You had, you, had, you had that guy, that point guard, that point guard, Tug Brazil over there, just transferred. I heard he looked good in the summer, in the, in the summer, I forget the name of the, uh, it's not a tournament, but it had, not a few, it was, yeah, some high school teams, and they just played each other, just some summer ball. You know, something like it was Craig Cromwell or something like that. However, Tugger, he transferred from Douglas, a public school, Baltimore City Public School, and he transitioned into the Catholic League. So you know it would be a little transition, but he's a great kid. He good, he's smart, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he aggressive, aggressive point guard, but he's a point guard. He got vision, he can see. People stay tuned. I already claimed him as my, my, my favorite point guard right now in high school. I, that's, I claimed him already. Before everybody jump on him, I already claimed him because he's that. Now he's in, a, he's in the system. And he coming from playing with his father over at Doug. You know, and salute again to Utah, for real. I know that was probably a little hard for you to give up your best player to the team that you coaching with, coaching on. And uh, yeah, I know that was kind of tough. I know it was, but salute to the whole Bazell family. We got we got that that other future NBA future NBA star Bryson Tucker. Now people, Bryson Tucker is from Mount St. Joe. He can play one, two, and a three. One, two, and a three. He didn't already did all. He got his championships. He got his players of the year. He got his first teams already. He going into his senior year, so he decided to transfer. Uh, some reports tell me he already he already uh, committed to IMG. I'm not sure. I looked online. I see an IMG him. I, I, I ain't see a jersey him with a jersey on. However, I did see like commitment from IMG, but I'm not willing to put my stamp on it. But that's what I'm seeing. So 
look look around and see where he going next year. Cause listen here, people, if if if, if you don't do nothing else, follow him. I jumped on him late. I jumped on him late. I jumped on him real late. You know what I'm saying? So, but the kid could play and he's smart. The kid could play and he's smart on and off the court. The kid could play and he's smart. We uh, Andy already got a, a scholarship offer to do. I ain't even tell y'all that. He already got a scholarship offer to do. And for those that don't know, IMG is like a sports academy that's in Florida. All right? Because I know I, I sometimes I forget to go the extra mile and explain. So IMG is a, is a, is a factory, a sports factory. He can be down there with, 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 with more pros. He can be on a campus where it's, 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 it's you there for sports. You there for whatever sport you there, you there for, you gonna learn the ins and outs, the business, how you treat your body. They gonna, it's the top of the line program. So shout out to the, to the Tucker family. Now we also had that kid Bryce Lindsey, St. Francis that committed to South, uh, South Carolina. Yeah, then, then he decommitted. Yeah, he's going to IMG. I know that. I seen that. He's going to IMG, so he'll be at IMG next year. And he he going off for of post grad because he already graduated. He, he already got his scores and things of that nature. So I think he's going down there just for to get some more looks. That's fine. We also celebrating out of St. Francis that that point guard Daquan Davis. Yeah, hit the St. John's. Another one, another another guard going to St. John's. Kudos, cool toes. And then we got this big one right here. Carlton Carrington. And this is gonna be my last time calling him Little Bug. Cause now he about to go into his at this year, he about he a young man. He about to go into his, he about to go, he about to transition. You know? So I'm gonna give him the respect that that, that, that he deserves and start calling him his name. Yes. However, right now you little bub. And shoot and shout out to the Carlton family. Bub, I know you ecstatic. I know you can be cool about it, but I know you ecstatic. I'm happy for you. You know what I'm saying? My guy's happy for you. Let me let me let me tell you that. Uh, let me tell y'all a quick story real quick with Bub. You know what I'm saying? Like my senior year, Bub, and I ain't the only I ain't the only player that he had. But he used to come and get me in the summertime. When I talk about a workout, a workout, he ain't just gonna tell you what you want here. He gonna pump you up, he gonna have you ready. He gonna have you ready. When I said, hey, you ready? Mentally and physically, have you ready? So it's, it's, it's and I wasn't the only kid he did that. Cause my guys, we, we talk about it. So I know, shout out to you, bud. However, let's get back to let's get back to little bug. Little bug can score on all three levels. I just seen a, a highlight from the other day. Banged on somebody. Now he dunking on you. Pull up game sick, smooth. Now, six four. He can shoot it, but his IQ is off the chain. IQ off the chain. So he going to the university. Got a scholarship offer to the University of Pittsburgh. Yes, indeed, at University of Pittsburgh. You heard me right. Y'all see, they, they making moves. As y'all can see, they, them boys making some moves. But shout out, shout out again to the Carlton family. You know, shout out again to the Carlton family. The best is yet to come. I'm telling you, the best is yet to come. Uh, also, like, we, we had, uh, I forget, uh, we had, Oh, and y'all got to excuse me for this because it's right there in my head. I can't get it out. But we're going to go anyway. Salute the Western head coach, Tasha Townsend, for, get, being, uh, get, for getting coach of the year. We also, the guard for Western, for winning the female, female player of the year. Yeah, and one thing about her, let me give you an update on her. She had a 4.08 GPA average. You hear me? 4.08. Yeah, Nasira Pryor. I'm sorry, I thought I said her name. Nasira Pryor. Shout out to you. Female uh, female player of the year. 4.08 GPA. 
and she'll be at Sacred Heart University next year. Salute. I still can't get over there. Seven players. They won a state championship with seven players, man. Salute to Coach Townsend. Salute to Coach Townsend. And I also like to give a big shout out to my to my alum, to Dunbar football, Coach Lauren Smith. Yes, indeed, for being for getting the coach the football for getting the uh, the coach of the year, right? The Ravens coach of the year. Not only he the first head coach that got it twice. You hear me? The first head coach that got it twice. You know what I'm saying? And I'm happy that was a dumb ball. It was a dumb ball, a coach. I'm so happy. So shout out to Coach Lawrence. And listen here, Coach, I'm coming back when it's football season. Yes, indeed. I told y'all, starting in August, we back at it. We back at it. If anybody, any, any football players, y'all feel like y'all, y'all feel like y'all, y'all ready to tell y'all story, reach out, man. Reach out. Please reach out. Reach out. Now, I want to say this before I get up off of here. Go, go support more than buckets. Calvin Hall. You got Eddie Oliver. You know, uh, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't get in contact with Eddie Oliver, let me know, and I can get in contact with him. Um, um, also, I like to say congratulations to Coach Keith Goody. Yeah. Keith Goody. I like to say a huge shout out to Keith. Uh, yeah, I like to say a huge shout out to Keith. He got the uh he now got the uh, the coaching job over at Morgan State. You know, you know, he on the staff now over there. We're gonna have a discussion about this because now because we always discuss how do Morgan and Cap and how do they recruit the kids from the city or around the area. Right, and on the other side, do the kids and the parents give 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 these programs a fair shot? Now we do know right now it's the thing to do to put on your uh, on your um, on your list. You know, on your top five list, you put an HBCU. Just uh, you know, but I want to know: do do they do one? Do one? Kevin Braswell over at Captain. Keith Goody over at Morgan. Do they really have shots to get some of these kids? Cause this is how I feel. If 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 you got players, if you got people that know this, the, the, the city inside and out, and you know them, I ain't gonna say, well, I ain't gonna say you know them, but you know of them, you ain't hear nothing crazy, you don't hear no, you, you don't, you know, you know. <laughs> Would you give them a shot? Because I'm gonna tell you something real quick. My friends, my friends, my guys, my family. I'm gonna call them my family because my guys, we knew the Chester since we was kids. However, looking back, and you know I don't like to look back. It's always pumping forward. However, looking back, discussions that we have even to this day, some of us should have went to the same school. However, the schools may wasn't, you know how we go, mid-major, low-major, high-major. At this time, you know, when you're in high school, a lot of, you want to get on TV. You're in prep school, you want to play on TV. However, you still got to know, you still have to be honest with yourself, you know, and be realistic. Players and parents. You got to be realistic, you know what I'm saying? And I know it hurts sometimes, listen. You, see, you may see this other kid go here, and you like my son or my, you know, my daughter better, but hey, that might not just been for you. However, you got these programs over here that you know that's, that you will play. I do know this, you stay ready, and you, and you keep grinding, keep working, you keep improving, you will get a shot. It may take you a little longer than a top player, but your turn will come eventually. Keep your nose clean. You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. You know, stay out of all the of, all of, all of BS. It's going to come. But, yeah, like I said, we're going we gonna, to we gonna talk about that another time. So, coming live from Ted's TV, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
like the video, and share it. That's all I'm saying. So until next time, I holler.